having premised thus much, the platonic reader will. I doubt not gratefully accept the following. Admirable account of demons in general. And also of the demon of Socrates. From the commentary of Proclus on this dialogue. Let us now speak in the first place concerning demons in general. In the next place, concerning those that are allotted us in common. And in the third place, concerning the demon of Socrates. Before it is always requisite that demonstrations should begin from things more on over soul and proceed from these as far as to individuals or this mode of proceeding is natural and is more adapted to science demons therefore deriving their first subsistence from the vivific goddess and flowing from thences from a certain fountain are allotted in essence characterized by silk. This essence in those of a superior order is more intellectual and more perfect according to hypoxis. In those of a middle order, it is more rational and in those which rank in the third degree and which subsist at the extremity of the monical order that is various. More aerational and more material, assessing therefore an essence of this kind. They are distributed in conjunction with the gods, as being allotted a power and a strength to deity. Hence they are in one way subservient to the liberated gods, who are the leaders of Poles prior to the world, and in another to the mundane gods, who approximately preside over the parts of the universe.